hello guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be my one month update since my bold big chop as you know i did actually shave off all of my hair bold and i'm just going to give you guys a one month update so you can see how my hair journey is going so just to start the video i'm just going to give you guys a 360 of what's good so you can see how my hair is growing so this is the front of the hair and this is the side let me show you the other side and let's see if i can show you the back that is a 360 and one thing that i have noticed is the hair in the middle section of my hair is growing much 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 quicker than my edges as you can see the edges is thinner than the middle section and i actually think that's normal for people's hair it's normal for the edges or the baby hairs to be thinner because that's just natural isn't it so this is how it looks i'm just going to put it so i can actually pinch it now so on my one week update i couldn't pinch it so i'm just going to comb it so you guys can see it looks like this and that is just so cool and this is how it's looking this is my texture it's obviously 4c or something we don't know yet we'll find out when it grows out a bit more so i am just going to show you guys what i have been using for my hair this far and yeah so in the morning when i wake up i have a shower and when i have my shower i always 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 make sure that i get my hair wet let the moisture go in so that anything i'm gonna apply on my hair would actually be sit going inside my hair rather than just sitting on top of it and being like a greasy shield so you actually want the moisture to go in so the step one that i do to make sure that i am sealing my moisture is getting the moisture in the first place you can do this with a light lotion hair lotion you can do this with water my first step i like to just use water in the shower and just give it a quick shake a little massage so i have actually developed a washing routine and that will be every week for me so when i wash my hair i use olive oil products it is a little bit nasty because it's been in the shower so this is the olive oil moisture restore creamy aloe shampoo and this is how it looks i will definitely link everything i am speaking about in the description somewhere so i go in with this first um, what i actually like about the shampoo is that it's not too stripping it's still moisturizing but cleansing at the same time which is what you want and it says it's infused with aloe vera and it says it gently cleanses and detangles and then i go in with the olive oil replenishing conditioner and this is how it looks and this one has a sweet orange oil for revitalizing the moisture and it says it helps to restore dry damaged hair this is how this looks and i leave that in there and I massage that in there. After that, this is something I've been doing maybe every, well, it's only been a month, so what can I really say? But I've actually done this maybe twice now. So I would say every two weeks, I have I will be doing a deep conditioner every two weeks. Um, so every week I wash my hair, every two weeks I will deep condition. And this is just a routine I want to develop and carry on throughout my hair journey. So this one is the ORS Hair Restore Hair Mayonnaise. So this is the extra big tub. I got this from Julia Beauty in Manchester. If you don't know where that is, I'll probably link an Amazon link for you. So this has been great. I've had this for several months now. Even when my hair was relaxed, I was using this. And the best thing about this is um, you don't need too much product. You just like a scoop and put it everywhere, get a clean film wrap it let the heat my natural heat do the job and get the moisture in there so once i have rinsed everything off the next step i don't know what's happened to this oh i go in with the ors olive oil her moisturizer notion and this one is infused with castor oil so this is what i use so when i use this i use this morning and at night and after i use this so i like I said, in the shower, every single day I put water on my hair, then I go in with the moisturizing lotion and I seal it with an oil 
so before i was using the scalp oil but i've decided to just switch to coconut oil because i think this is a cheaper alternative because i use coconut oil for my hair i use it for my body as well so it's just more convenient to use this and you can get coconut oil from anywhere this one is from sainsbury's that is just what i have been using and in terms of if i've had any problems i haven't had any problems like i said at the very beginning my head was really itchy and i think that's just because the hair was growing out so it did feel really itchy i haven't had any problems since the only thing i'm a bit concerned with is the edges and how it's slightly thin but i do actually think that's just normal or that might just be genetics so at bedtime i have i make sure that i only purchase satin or silk um like duvet sets and pillowcases because this is just more gentle on your skin and your hair so that is what i'm i've been using if you don't want to invest in a silk or a satin pillowcase what i would say is buy a silk or satin bonnet because this is more gentle on your hair as you know i do obviously wear my wigs so i've not been going out like this but maybe in the second month the two month update i might go out with my hair out like this and just get the experience but because it is actually winter um it's not that i'm embarrassed it's just that it's freezing so i might wait until march that will be in the next five months and i fingers crossed i got a little cute afro going on so i just hope i have a little afro by then and i'll wear it out i might challenge myself and wear my natural hair out for my birthday because as you know in the black community it's like your natural hair is not good enough for special occasions so i might challenge that norm and actually wear my natural hair out and see what's good what's good so i guess that's the entirety of this hair update if you are thinking about starting your hair journey i would say just do it honestly it was literally the best decision of like my entire life like just cutting off the hair was just so freeing it was so liberating and i just felt this big weight this big baggage that i've been carrying and it's it was more like an emotional baggage that i had been carrying and it just came right off me like you got to go so that came <laughs> <laughs> that came right off me and literally if you're thinking about doing it don't procrastinate just get a pair of scissors go to the barbers get it off 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 like the hair i was holding on to was dead hair it was not even my natural hair texture nothing is wrong with relaxing honestly relaxing my hair was one of the best decisions i made at the time that i made it just because I relaxed my hair at the beginning of lockdown and you know lockdown for me was a very 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 stressful period and i just couldn't be bothered looking after myself looking after my skin looking after my hair so what i did was i just relaxed it it was very easy to braid it put wigs on wash it i felt sexy but that's the thing like i want to also feel sexy with an afro i want to feel sexy with my own authentic self so yeah so that's where i'm up to with my hair i'm just going to quickly show you guys again uh 360 so we got the front and i'm just going to be brushing it so you can see what's good so this is how the comb stays here the comb stays there the comb is staying yep okay maybe not there oh yep so you can obviously see there is growth nothing crazy but yeah, it's growing quite quickly. And I give myself one year to have quite a decent amount of hair growth. And I'm looking forward to that. So this is what we, we've got here. Like that, see? <laughs> so yeah, that's my hair update for you guys. If you want to see my original video where I shave my hair, I will link that in the description. If you would like to see my updates because so far I have done the original big chop where I just film shaving my hair. After that, I did the next day update, just talking about how I was feeling the very, very next day. Um, and then after that, I did the one week update and this will be the one month update. And after this, I am just going to do one month, two months, three months, four months, 
<laughs> like that so i'm just gonna do updates every time to show you guys and just to in case you guys are on your journey as well to just bring you along too so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a like don't forget to drop a comment on what products are working for you how your big chop is going if you're thinking about doing the big chop any concerns you have let's have a nice positive comment section where we can give each other advice and help each other out so i hope you guys are enjoying your day and i will see you guys on the next video lots of love bye